We are looking to solve this problem and find out what this angle is right in here, uh, this angle angle at the top of the triangle. So what we're going to have to do here, it's a little bit of, uh, it's a little tricky, but we do know for these two circles that, here I'll just draw this center here, we're going to have to split these up down the center. That's not bad right there. And what we're going to do is, this will be the x component, this will be the y component, and this is the hypotenuse. Of, the, of these triangles. So splitting this up first, for the first circle with this radius of 2, the formula for that's going to be sine of theta is equal to um, 2 over, I made this y, uh, yeah, we'll just call it x. Um, well, the hypotenuse, uh, I'll just call it hypotenuse like this. And for the larger triangle, it's going to be sine of theta is equal to um, what we got to do here is we got to make some variable that uh, puts put these two puts these two in relation. So the opposite's four, and for the hypotenuse, it's going to be hypotenuse, which is this component here, plus we have the rate. Um, uh, darn it! Shoot, let me think here. Yeah, so our uh, Radius here, this is 2, this is 4, so it's going to be hypotenuse plus 6. All right, so now we can go ahead and solve this. Uh, we set these two equations equal to each other, so the sines, thetas, we can just get rid of those, so it ends up becoming 4 over hypotenuse plus 6 is equal to 2 over hypotenuse. You can call hypotenuse whatever you want, you can call it x. Um, uh, then what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply these, so I got 4 hypotenuse is equal to. 2 hypotenuse plus 12. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract the hypotenuse over here. So I get 2 hypotenuse is equal to um, 12. So the hypotenuse is equal to 6 units. All right, so we go ahead and solve this. So I'm going to plug this into the first equation. So sine of theta is equal to 2 over 6, or 1 third. So then theta is equal to uh, inverse sine of 1 third which gives me, uh, th th this is actually the theta divided by 2, um, gets me 19.47 degrees, 712, whatever. Um, that's just this half, even though I said theta, it's theta divided by 2, so it's this, but we got to find the whole thing, so it's double that. So just multiply it times 2, so actually theta is going to be equal to 38 0.94, but we'll just round it down so it becomes 38.9 degrees. That's it. That's how you solve it.